In this video, I'm going to explain aggregate functions using pandas. Aggregate functions, they reduce a set of values into a single summary value. Basically, we're reducing a bunch of values into one. We use aggregate functions to summarize and analyze data. In this demonstration, I have a data frame that contains the original 150 Pokemon. Let's say for some of these columns, such as the number, the height, the weight, and legendary status, I would like to find the mean or the average. To find the mean for all numeric columns, we could do the following. When we output our data frame, we will call the mean aggregate function. But there's one thing we're missing. We can't use the mean function on any columns that are non-numeric. We can't find the mean for anything that's non-numeric, such as Pokemon names. They're alphabetical characters. What we could do is that when we call the mean function, we can pass in a keyword argument, numeric underscore only equals true. We're telling pandas, find the mean of any columns that are numeric. And here's what we have. The average number is 75.5. The average height is 1.2 meters. The average weight is 46.2 kilograms. The average amount of legendaries is 0.02, 2%. So we have mean, let's do some copying and pasting. Another aggregate function is sum. Let's sum all the numeric columns. And here's the sum, the sum of all the numbers, the sum of all the heights, the sum of all the weights, and the sum of the numbers of all the legendaries. Let's find the minimum. We will use the min aggregate function. The minimum number is one, the minimum height is 0.2 meters, the minimum weight is 0.1 kilograms, and the minimum legendary status is zero. Then we have max. We will call the max aggregate function. Here are the max values, 150, 8.8, .8, 460, one. We also have count. With the count function, we don't need to pass in a keyword argument. We are counting the number of values within each column, 150, 150, 150. Now, not every Pokemon has a type two. That's why this is only 67. Count won't include any null values. That's why this number is 67 and the rest is 150. That's using aggregate functions with an entire data frame. These aggregate functions would apply to the whole data frame. The next set of aggregate functions will be for a single column. All right, just to save a little bit of time, let's do some copying and pasting. We'll copy our five previous print statements and paste them. Now, rather than selecting the entire data frame, we will select a single column by using the subscript operator, then selecting a column. Let's pick height. What is the average height? Since height is a numeric column, we don't have to pass in this keyword argument. What is the mean of the height column? That is 1.2, 1.2 meters. Then let's do this with sum. Subscript operator, select the column of height, and we don't need to pass in that keyword argument. What is the sum of all the heights? 180 meters. Then let's do this with min. What is the minimum value? What is the minimum height in this column? That is 0 0.2 meters. Subscript operator, we will select the column of height and we don't need to pass in this keyword argument. With our column of height, the maximum value is 8.8 .8 meters. And what's the count? Select our column of height and the count is 150. That's 150 non-null values. But if I was to pick a different column like type two, well, if we remember that was only 67. All right, that's how to use aggregate functions with a single column. Select your data frame, then select the column using the subscript operator. Now there's also something called group by. Group by is a function. Now, if I was to print my data frame, I will print my data frame. 
we can arrange our data frame into different groups. We can group together rows by something that they have in common. Let's group our data frame by each creature's type, their type 1. We'll put all the grass types in one group, all the fire types in another group, and we'll do this with all the different types. We will do this by creating a group by object. Group equals access our data frame, call the group by function. Then we're going to pass in the name of a column by which we want to group these records by. We'll group by type one. Now, if you were to output your group directly, here's what you would see. Group is an object. When you apply an aggregate function, the group object will return a series for you to work with and display. Let's take our group, select the height column, then call an aggregate function. What is the average height for each group? And we are grouping by type one. Here's what we have, here are the average heights. For bug types, the average height is 0.9 meters. Dragon types have an average height of 2.6. So we are grouping by each Pokemon's type, their type one. Let's find the sum. We are grouping by type one. Let's find the sum. All of the bug types have a combined height of 10.8 meters. All the dragon types have a combined height of eight meters. Seems like water types have the greatest combined height. Let's find the minimum value from each type. We will call the min function. And here's the minimum values for each type, or the max. Here are all the max values for each type. And the count. Here's the total number of bug types, 12, dragon types, 3, electric types, 9, so on and so forth. There's a lot of water types I noticed. All right, everybody, so those are aggregate functions. They reduce a set of values into a single summary value. They're used to summarize and analyze data. And well, everybody, those are aggregate functions using pandas.